EPA has dropped the ball yep. on its duty to protect our environment and health, what would you do to restore our environmental and health protections? I just want to see if I can. I'm just going to change your characterization a little bit. I think over the past couple of years that the EPA has not dropped the ball, that in this administration the EPA has thrown the ball to the ground. I'm going to say something really shocking about all of our questions about clean water, clean air, the urgency of this moment about the direction and survivability of this earth. Now, what I'm gonna say is very controversial in Washington. I'm glad many of you are sitting down. Uh, don't stand up as I start to talk. It, it could be a dangerous moment. For those of you who are standing up, you may wanna stabilize yourselves there. Just a minute on this. All right, are you ready? I believe in science. Climate change is real, and we have a moral and economic responsibility to make changes in this country starting right now. We need a strong EPA, that's part of the answer, um, uh, led by someone who believes in science, right? And we'll follow through on that. But we also need to be thinking about the investments we make going forward. As we're thinking about the leadership of the United States of America, we are leading on climate. We're doing it right now. We're just leading in the wrong direction. Uh, we need to get back in the Paris Climate Accord. And we need to recognize that's not enough. We need to do far more. But we can only do that when we're leading from the front. And that has to be part two. Part three, we need to think about infrastructure investments, investments in clean energy, investments in an America that will survive as the ocean waters rise. This is our responsibility to our children and our grandchildren. So I'm all in. Count me in. <laughs>